It's almost time for the Honor Magic 8 Lite. And while the global rollout won't be until probably sometime in January, I've had a chance to test it out for the past few weeks. In short, it's a battery life champ with great mid-range performance and a massive 7,500 milliamp hour battery that lasts easily three days, plus a durable body that's IP69K rated and even features 2.5 meter drop protection built in. Of course, it's also got a nice looking OLED display that adheres to most of Honor's best practices. That means it uses DC-like dimming above 20% brightness and uses very, very low modulation during that time. This is Honor 400 Pro levels of low modulation, and I absolutely love what I'm seeing here. Below 20% brightness, it switches to 3840 Hz PWM dimming with, again, relatively low modulation. As with most Honor phones, this is a pseudo DC-like and PWM hybrid, which means deeper drops at each refresh interval and consistent pulses in between that smooth things out. Generally, this is more comfortable than straight PWM since it looks a bit more like a sine wave. Now, for the downside, as you probably have guessed from several other recent phones, is that it dithers. Right on the spec sheet, you'll see that it says 10-bit display with an asterisk. In the small print, we're told that it's an 8-bit panel with a 2-bit software algorithm to make 10-bit colors. I asked Honor about this and they said there's no way to disable dithering, which is obviously a problem for some people, but here's the silver lining. In the past, when I've asked Honor about dithering, they usually never give me an answer. This time around, they asked me why I was inquiring about dithering and why it's an issue. That right there gives me hope that maybe, just maybe, we could see Honor add yet another eye care solution to its fanciful repertoire of options to disable dithering in the future. This same thing happened with DC-like dimming over the past two years, which is now a standard option on most Honor phones. And while it's not a guarantee that history will repeat itself in the best of ways, acknowledgement of a problem is the first place where solutions are found. If dithering doesn't bother you, of course, this is a solid mid-range choice with stupid good battery life. Although I'd personally recommend saving up a bit more and buying the Honor 400 Pro instead. That phone has a better display that does not dither, a much more ergonomic design, and far, far better cameras. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.